Hi, this is Frank Taylor with today's episode of Nature in Your Backyard. And today is Monday, April 27th. And what I wanted to show you today and talk about today is the amazing difference elevation makes. I just drove down here from my house in Floyd County, Virginia, and I couldn't believe how green everything is here. And I'm gonna rotate around so you can see the amount of green and how many leaves are out on the trees here. And you can see I'm just absolutely surrounded by lush green of springtime and most of the trees are leafing out here and it's really amazing and it looks so cool and in floyd it's a whole different thing <laughs> and i'm gonna uh stop this video and then i'll drive back up to floyd and then i'm gonna turn the video on again and you can see how different it is so i just checked a topo map and topo maps are cool topo is short for topographic and topographic maps are fun to look at because they put in elevation. Topographic maps can show you the steepness of slopes, what the elevation is. Elevation is always measured in feet above sea level. And I just checked the topo map for Radford City, and I'm here just at the high school. And at the high school, the topo map shows me that the, my elevation above sea level is 1,868 feet. So my house in Floyd is at about 2,700 feet. That's a total difference of maybe seven or 800 feet. What a difference elevation makes. So we're gonna go up there and we're gonna show you the difference and we're going to talk about how that difference in elevation helps make all these unique habitats in the Appalachian Mountains that go from zero up to 6,000, 7,000 feet, and how that creates all these microhabitats which leads and contributes to the amazing diversity of the Appalachian Mountains, one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. So here's another video clip. I'm down here in Wildwood Park, and you can see how far advanced spring is just by the, the greenness in the trees. Um, I'm gonna pick out two trees, and uh, these are trees that I know are growing in Radford and are growing in Floyd. And so we can compare them essentially side by side. The first tree is tulip poplar, and uh, you can see um, uh, sort of tulip shaped leaves and you can see how advanced the leaves are on this tree. Now I'm farther down and here are the leaves on a maple tree and you can see how advanced these leaves are. So I'm going to turn my uh, video camera off and when I turn it back on I'll be in Floyd County at a thousand feet higher in elevation um, in uh, within an hour and boom just like that now I'm 23 miles by road from Radford and I'm here in Floyd County Virginia 23 miles from Radford and about a thousand feet in elevation difference and look at the difference in how the trees and vegetation has come out here in Floyd it's a completely different story, isn't it? Amazing. Just a thousand feet of elevation difference. And here's my tulip tree, or sometimes called yellow poplar. There are variations on the name locally. And I've got my camera zoomed because um, the leaves are so small, they're barely the size of my finger. Um, barely the width of my finger, but you can clearly see it's got that tulip shape. It's a, this is a tulip poplar, just like the one in Radford. What an amazing difference elevation makes. Here's a maple tree, and I'll put my, get my hand in the picture here. Look at that, the leaves are just barely coming out. Look how small they are. 
compared to the maple tree we saw in Radford. What a big difference. And this is all due to elevation. So what a difference elevation makes. So I hope you're able to see by my comparison between Radford City, uh, Wildwood Park at 1,800 feet above sea level, and Floyd County, 20 miles away, and actually to the south at 2,700 feet, what a difference elevation makes on the climate. So there's a couple rules of thumb that biologists and weather people uh, use to define these changes. They'll say that for every thousand feet of elevation, it's like driving 300 miles north. Okay, think about that. So the highest mountain in Virginia, and I wrote this down, is Mount Rogers at 5,729 feet above sea level. So that's 3,000, more than 3,000 feet higher than Radford City. So for every thousand feet you go up, it's like driving 300 miles north. So if you start at the base of the mountain, you're in an oak hickory forest. And as you go up in elevation, you'll eventually go into a beech maple forest, which is the kind of forest that you'd find 600 miles north of here. And then if you go all the way to the top, you'll be in a spruce fir forest. Well, that's the kind of forest that's dominant in Canada. So going up to the top of Mount Rogers, 3,000 feet of elevation gain, it's like driving 900 miles north. Another rule of thumb that biologists and weather people use is they say that for every thousand feet of elevation gain, the average temperature lowers by three and a half to four degrees. So again, here we are at Appalachian Mountains. We have this amazing biological diversity of organisms, which I'm planning to show you about. And a lot of part of that is due to the fact that we do have these mountains and for every thousand feet, we have a very different kind of weather. And that weather, or maybe we should say climate, is different depending on your elevation. So you've got all these different opportunities for southern species and northern species to find their home and be comfortable in that environment that they're best adapted to. So um, elevation, that was today's topic. I hope to thank you for watching Nature in Your Backyard. And we'll talk more about this. And I'm planning to go to Mount Rogers to show you that spruce fir forest as well and talk about the different forest types as I hike up.